Hey guys, it's Dara. Today is lesson 17 and we are going to talk about possessive adjectives that work like personal pronouns in a sentence. <laughs> if you're ready, let's get started. First, let us review your personal pronouns. Ako, I. Kami, we. Tayo, we. Ikaw, or ka, you, singular. Kayo, you, plural. Sha, he or she. Sila, they. Okay, now that you have brushed up on your personal pronoun in Tagalog, let us now go to possessive adjectives. In English, we can say my pen, my pen, or we can also say mine. The word my modifies the pen. It answers the question, which pen? So the word my is a possessive adjective, while mine is a possessive pronoun. Now, how do we say these words in Tagalog? My in Tagalog is ko. And pencil, what is pencil again? I have covered this on lesson one. Lapis, right? If my is ko and pencil is lapis, if we're going to translate this now, my pencil, ko lapis. But in Tagalog, you have to switch the position of possessive adjective and the object. So, my pencil, instead of saying ko lapis, it will become lapis ko. My pencil, lapis ko. Now, let's go to the second person. How do you say your pencil? Your in Tagalog is mo. Mo. So, let's try it. Your pencil, mo lapis. And then you have to switch lapis mo. Your pencil, lapis mo. Lapis mo ito. <laughs> this is your pencil. Third person, how do we say his or her in Tagalog. Since we only have one personal pronoun for he and she, in possessive adjectives, we also have only one. His and her, nya, nya. So, his pencil, nya, lapis, switch the position, lapis nya. His pencil, lapis nya. Her pencil, Lapis niya. Review. Lapis ko, my pencil. Lapis mo, your pencil. Lapis niya, his pencil or her pencil. Are you ready for the plurals? Good. First person plural possessive adjective. If we have two kinds of we, remember there's kami, we, but not including you. We are Filipinos. Kami ay Pilipino. And the other kind of we is the one that includes you. Tayo. Tayo ay Pilipino. Filipino at heart. We also have two kinds of our. How do we say our but it does not include you? For example, the owner of this pencil is me and them but not including you. So it will become namin our pencil lapis namin our pencil lapis namin it does not include you if you are one of the owners of this pencil then it will become natin natin our pencil it means our pencil everyone is the owner of this pencil our pencil Lapis natin. Ready for the second person plural? How do you say your pencil? When there are many of you who owe this pencil. Your, when plural in Tagalog, will become ninyo. Ninyo. Your pencil, lapis ninyo. Whenever we say this quickly, ninyo will become just nyo. Your pencil, lapis nyo. A third person, how do we say their pencil in Tagalog. Their will become nila. Their pencil, lapis nila. Review. Lapis ko. Lapis mo. 
Lapis niya. Lapis namin. Lapis natin. Lapis nila. Now, let's learn some words first that you can use in expressing likes and dislikes. The first word is gusto. Gusto. Gusto means like or want. Second word is ayaw. Ayaw. This means don't like, don't want. Ayaw. How do we say I like in Tagalog? I like. I is a ko, right? And like is gusto. If we are going to have the direct translation of I like in Tagalog, it will become ako gusto. However, that's not how we say I like in Tagalog. Instead of using the personal pronoun ako here, what we do is we put the word gusto or ayaw at the beginning of the sentence and then we use the possessive adjective instead of the personal pronoun. So, what is the possessive adjective for my? It's ko, right? My pencil, lapis ko. I like, therefore, is gusto ko. I like, gusto ko. Again, guys, we did not use the personal pronoun ako. Instead, we used the possessive adjective my, <laughs> which means ko. I like in Tagalog technically means like my. <laughs> I like gusto ko. Gusto ko ng chocolates. Gusto ko ng chocolates. I like chocolates. Gusto ko ng vegan chocolates. I like vegan chocolates. Gusto ko ng aso. Aso is dog. Gusto ko ng aso. I like dogs. Gusto ko ng bagong. Bago is new. Bagong lapis. Gusto ko ng bagong lapis. I want a new pencil. Remember, lesson one. For adjective, we always add ng before the noun. So, new pencil, bagong lapis. Gusto ko ng bagong lapis. How do we say, I want a salad? I want, gusto ko. A, nang. Salad, we can say ensalada or still salad, conversational Tagalog. I want a salad. Gusto ko ng salad. I want, gusto ko. What is the negative form? How do we say, I don't like in Tagalog? Ayaw ko. I don't like, ayaw ko. Ayaw ko ng chocolates. Ayaw ko ng chocolates. Ayaw ko ng mm, aso. Kasi, kasi, remember? Because, right? Mm, ayaw ko ng aso. Kasi, Gusto ko pusa. <laughs> Ang gusto ko pusa. <laughs> I don't like dogs because it's cats that I like. But that's just a joke. I love dogs. Gusto, like, ayaw, dislike. Second person. How do we say you like? Gusto mo. Remember, we are not taking the personal pronoun you, which is ikaw or ka, right? Instead, we are taking the possessive adjective, which is mo. Your pencil, lapis mo. You like, gusto mo. It's not ikaw gusto. It's gusto mo. I'm going to use this in an interrogative sentence. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Gusto mo ba ng aso? Do you like dogs? Gusto mo ba ng aso? Gusto mo ba ng chocolate? It's either do you like chocolates or do you want chocolates? Because again, guys, gusto is like or want in Tagalog. So, do you like chocolates? Gusto mo ba ng chocolate? Gusto mo ba ng pusa? Third person. How do we say he likes or she likes? Remember, it's not the personal pronoun siya that we are going to use. Instead, we are going to 
put gusto first at the beginning of the sentence and then take the possessive adjective which is niya, his pencil, lapis niya, her pencil, lapis niya, he likes gusto niya, she likes gusto niya, gusto niya ng aso, he likes or she likes dogs, gusto niya ng pusa, he likes or she likes cats, gusto niya ng chocolate. He likes or she likes chocolates. Review. Gusto ko, I like. Ayaw ko, I don't like. Gusto mo, you like. Ayaw mo, you don't like. Gusto niya, he likes or she likes. Ayaw niya, he doesn't like or she doesn't like. Ready for the plurals? How do we say, we like in Tagalog? Again, you don't use the personal pronoun we, so you're not gonna say kami or tayo, right? Instead, we put gusto at the beginning of the sentence and we're going to take the third person possessive adjective, which is namin or natin. We like dogs, not you included. Gusto namin ng aso. Gusto mo rin ba ng aso? So, I should say, gusto natin, gusto natin ng aso. Gusto mo rin ba ng pusa? Gusto rin nila ng pusa. Gusto ko rin ng pusa. I also like cats. So, Gusto natin ng pusa. <laughs> Cats. Rin or din means also or too. Gusto mo rin ba ng chocolate? Gusto ko rin ng chocolate. Oh, gusto rin nila ng chocolate. Gusto natin. Nating lahat. Lahat is all. Gusto natin ng chocolate. Second person plural. Gusto mo ng chocolate? O gusto rin niya ng chocolate? Gusto ninyo. You plural. Gusto ninyo ng chocolate. Gusto mo ng aso? Gusto din niya ng aso. Gusto ninyo ng aso. Gusto mo ng pusa? Gusto rin niya ng pusa. So, gusto ninyo ng pusa. Last one. How do we say they like in Tagalog? Remember guys, they, it's not sila, right? It's not the personal pronoun. Instead, we are going to use the possessive adjective. They like dogs. Gusto nila ng aso. Gusto ko rin ng aso. Gusto rin nila ng aso. Gusto ko ng pusa. Gusto rin nila ng pusa. They also like cats. They like chocolates. Or they want chocolates. Both. Gusto, like, and want. They want chocolates. Gusto nila ng chocolate. Or gusto nila ng chocolates. Review. Lapis ko, gusto ko. Lapis mo, gusto mo. Lapis niya, gusto niya. Ayaw niya. Plural. Lapis namin. Doesn't include you. Gusto namin. Lapis natin. Including you. Gusto natin. Lapis ninyo. Gusto ninyo. Third person. Lapis nila. Gusto nila. On my next video, also learn contractions, meaning to say when to combine the word nang with pronouns and when to separate. For example, gusto ko nang versus gusto kong. All right, so watch out for that next video. If you like this lesson, please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new lesson. This has been Dara of Tutor of Manila. Bye-bye, guys.